kids, big kids, big kids, little kids, comic books and toys for all the girls and boys. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Adam and Kayla here. Hi. And today we are going to draw a bear. A bear. So uh, get out your pencils and your markers and your crayons and some paper and let's have some fun. Yep. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> okay, so you wanted to draw a bear, so we're going to draw a bear. And we're going to do it again in pencil. We're going to start a, a very loose, rough sketch. So we're going to start with the head and we're going to start it up here. Like here? Yeah, that's a good spot. Well, maybe a little lower because you want to give some room for the ears. So maybe like right about there. And don't worry about, you know, we can, any of the lines, we can erase them later. I hope you didn't rip it. No, I won't rip it this time. And then we're going to draw a bigger circle, kind of next, like, it's kind of attached to it, right? This is the body. All right. And then we're going to, the, we're going to do, do the chest is going to go up into the neck. So the head is going to be attached to that circle, that oval shape. And I'm going to refine it a little bit and get it just right. I'm going to do some little circle shapes for the ears, all right? And it's good that, that you're drawing, um, so one, one ear on either side. So you already had this circle, but ignore it. So maybe like an ear here and then an ear here, right? We can erase that later, okay? Then we're going to draw the legs. So the first leg is going to be right about there, and it's kind of like a, um, a cylindrical shape cylinder and we'll add detail later and then the back leg will be here and the back leg will kind of like come off of the butt like that and then because I have like this chest area I'm gonna have another leg that's coming out from the other side and I want to be able to see the whole thing like that and then we're gonna do the same thing for the other back leg okay now we're going to Lines. Yeah, we'll do the paws and everything. We'll get more detailed the more we sketch. So within this um, big circle, the or medium-sized circle here, you may even want to make it a little bit bigger, like like that. Um, I'm gonna draw another like oval shape, like right about there. That can be his snout. Yeah, the snout. And then I'm gonna draw a, a sideways oval for the nose. I'm gonna draw a little line in the center of that that goes down. And then we'll give him a nice smile, like so. And then we're gonna draw some eyes. And the eyes, we're not gonna make com complete circles. They'd be more like almond-shaped ovals, kind of like so. Like this? Yeah, you can make them a little bit bigger because I wanna put eyeballs in the center there. like So that way you have some white space. And this is a good time to make any mistakes and make any adjustments. So you can see I made mine a little bit bigger. I'm going to give him some, some thick eyebrows. Can so, you do your tan? Yeah, we will. So watch what I do with the eyebrows. I do a line like this, and then I curve it over and do another line. Yeah. And then I'm going to fix his ears. I'm going to move this ear over a little bit more for mine. And then I'll move this ear over a little on this side. And then I'm going to draw the inside of the ear, which is just more curved shapes like this. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna try to I'm gonna uh, do a line right here uh, where the snout is, and then I'm gonna curve it down because I don't want the snout to be just an oval shape. So on either side it kind of curves down, and then it comes down into this oval shape, kind of like that, just to give it a little bit more definition. And then I'm gonna do something else for my bear. I'm gonna give him uh, make his fur kind of fluffy, so I'm gonna do some zigzag lines here so it looks like fur like this well i didn't do it like so scratchy i actually did like more like almost um like lightning bolts almost like curved lightning bolts and then i'm going to give him some hair that comes sticks up a little bit kind of like that and i'm going to do the same thing for his ears And then I'm going to do the same thing for his chest that comes here. I'm going to do like this line. I'm going to go up and then I'm going to come down. And then under his belly, I did the same thing where I did like a zigzag line. Now for the legs, 
<laughs> there you go. For the legs, we're going to curve this where this cylinder shape is. And then it's going to come down. And then on this side, it's going to curve down here. And then we're going to give them a paw, which is we could start out with a, an oval shape like here. And we could give each leg a paw. The ones in the front will be a little bit bigger than the ones in the back because they're further away. Okay. So now we're going to def uh, define these paws. We're going to give them three toes, kind of like that. And then it'll curve up. And then we're going to make this leg a little curvier. So it's going to curve out and down. And then I'm going to define these paws a little bit like so. And then for the back leg, we're also going to give it some muscle. And we're going to do a curve shape like this, almost like a, a little S. And then the paw will come out. And then the back of the leg will curve as well. Out and down. And then finally for the last leg, we'll also give it a little bit of a curve. We'll define the paws. Now we're going to extend his neck up a little bit. So we have this oval shape and we're going to do like a line right here to connect it. And then it'll come up and then down into this leg here. And then that's where we'll add his little tail. Kind of like that. I need to end it here. Cool. I'm going to just quickly sketch in some ground. Maybe some some mountains in the back. Do you have to do it if you don't have to? No, nope, you don't have to do the ground like I do mine. You don't have to do anything. I'm going to add some trees in the background. Just to give myself an idea of where they would be. Maybe a little sun up in the sky. And now we can ink. So do you want to ink with a thick marker or a thin marker? A thick one? Okay. I'm going to start with the eyes. Okay. So for each eye, I'm going to do like a line like that. And then we'll curve it at the bottom like that. Don't, don't skip too far ahead. And then we're going to do the circle on the inside. I'm going to leave a little white space to kind of make them friendly like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side where I do a curve shape. An almond shape. <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna do the the actual nose. So watch what I do with the nose here. Don't look at the sketch. Look at look at what I do here. I'm gonna do like a line like that, and you already know where your nose is gonna be, and then it's gonna come down on either side. And then we're gonna give. Oh, I was gonna I give my guy I... little nostrils. You, you um. Colored yours in. That's I okay. I think my pants too like. Too is it too messy. um? Yeah, you want to try a different one? Yeah. Try this one. I think we need some new uh, markers. So now we're gonna do this line in the center, and I'm gonna try to do it thinly. It goes down. Yeah. And it all depends on how hard you push down on the on the pen too. So I'm gonna give him a big old smile like that. I'm gonna give mine some dimples on either side and then kind of like a bottom lip here and then we're going to do a snout and watch what I do with the snout again I'm going to do that line up there and then I'm going to curve it down like that and then down like that and then it's going to circle around underneath the mouth like that and then on the other side, we're going to do the same thing. And can you then, connect it? And then we can connect it. Yep. I'm going to do a line above the eyes like that on either side. Oh, you connected yours already. I was going to show you how I connect mine. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start where it's a little thicker on the inside part of the eye like this. And then it kind of goes down. That's how I did mine. So now I'm going to um, make my fuzzy ears. 
and I'm doing this type of shape. And then I'm going to do that on the opposite side as well. Like that. Yeah, so you connected it here. You shouldn't connect them because what we're going to do is it's going to um, be connected to the cheek. We're going to do the inside of the ears, which are like these C shapes, and then they connect. Okay. My mind backwards. <laughs> it's okay. It's looking really great. And then I'm going to do the fuzzy side of the head here. And I'm going to give mine a little bit of a fuzzy beard right here, down below. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, like that. Good job. Your bear super fuzzy. And then I'm going to give him a fuzzy top of his head. And it's going to be curved, so it's not straight across. All right, now we're gonna do part of his chest. We're only gonna follow this line to this part of the leg. Like that. And then we're gonna do this leg where we do this muscular part that curves out like that. And then it's gonna curve down. And then we'll do the back part of that leg before we get to the paws that comes down. And it comes down like this. And then the paws curl up and over like that. Okay, now we'll do this leg and this line curves down like that. And then the back part of it comes down there. And then we're going to do the paws, and it kind of hooks around here. Oh, you're skipping ahead. <laughs> I got to keep up with you. He's like, I'm doing the whole dog. <laughs> so now we're going to do the belly. I'm going to make my belly kind of fuzzy as well. With some zigzag lines. And actually, your belly would go all the way to here. right? You can make the back leg a little thicker if you want. Not too far. No, it would go over this leg too. Because that leg is behind it. So see how I did here? I went over that part. Now this leg is a very muscular leg. It's going to curve down and around like that. And then the back part of that leg will curve. It'll poke out just a little bit and then come down for the paw. <laughs> and then I'm going to do the paws here and connect them there. And then I'm going to do the back, the final back leg, which is coming out here. And it's going to come down like that cur like a curve there, another curve there. And then we'll do some curved hook shapes for the paw. And now, watch what I do here. This part of the neck comes down like that. And then it loops up and gives them a very big back. And then it goes down into the tail. And then I have my cat. Connects it. Oh yeah, you need your cat. There we go. <laughs> and that's my bear. I love your bear. He's got a nice smile. He's looking very curious. I no, why should you? I'm gonna draw some hills in the background and some trees, just some simple shaped trees overlapping each other. That's smart. <laughs> oh, because he's a curious bear? Yeah. You know how to spell bear? Uh, what letter do you start with? B. That's right, B. Looks like he has a super big back of this mountain. Yeah, it's a, he's, he's up in the hills and the mountains. That part would be white. Um... What else? I could draw a little sun back here, up in the sky. Maybe I could draw a bush in the foreground. Boo. 
like that with some berries on it. Boo. <laughs> Boo. All right, you ready to color? Yeah. Yeah, let's get into it. All right, so here's some crayons for you. What mm -hmm. color are you going to color your bear? Actually, let's um, let's get our eraser. Yeah, because you Well, maybe you could color over it. You could. You could absolutely color over it. Hope you don't rip mine. I hope I don't rip yours, yeah. Okay. I'm making it steady. Okay, thank you. Uh, and we don't have to get rid of every line. I'm just going to give it a quick um, mm. eraser here. That way we can color it. Right over here. How's that? Looks good. Okay. I'm going to get rid of my pencil marks. Go. <laughs> Thank you for your help. Hey, I only ripped it once. You can do it again. That was pretty embarrassing because I was saying not to rip it, right? <laughs> and you ripped it. <laughs> you guys aren't going to let me live that down, are you? That's okay. We learn from our mistakes, hopefully. Sometimes we make them more than once. But I make my bab. Hey! What? <laughs> you know where my brown is well if for some reason your brown it has disappeared like here this one has two browns so it wasn't put back in the oh, right wait, spot I found the dark brown. okay i'm going to actually start my drawing or my coloring let's see if i could find I'm starting mine with purple yeah you're gonna add purple i'm gonna add orange to mine because orange and brown blend nicely into each other so it's a nice sunny day and my bear He's about to eat some berries and enjoy the sunshine. And run away from humans. And run away from humans. Yeah, it always makes me sad when humans hurt bears. So I hope everybody is enjoying drawing with us. Thank you for hanging out with us today while we draw our bear. If you are enjoying the drawing videos, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon. For as little as $1 a month, you get exclusive content. You get to help support our channel so we can buy supplies. Whoa. and. That looks like brownish orange. Yeah, it's a little brownish. But it'll go good with this color when I blend it in, this orangish brown. And I can oh, yeah. blend it in. I am also going to be doing um, drawing classes. So if you check Patreon, you can see that there is an art class tier. Do you color like the nose brown? Or? The nose would be more like um, like this color. Or a very light brown, if we have a light brown. Um, you're mixing blue in with your, or purple, or brown in with your blue. That's cool. Must be nighttime. Oh, are you doing a nighttime scene? Maybe. That's a good idea. If you wanted to add claws to your bear, you can do that. You gotta have claws. You, you put claws on yours? I didn't add claws on mine. Yeah, you did. No, those are just where his toes curl. Those aren't the, the claws. So yeah, check Patreon uh, if you wanna sign up for an art class with me. Um, we, it all depends on your age. We will make it age appropriate, um, see what, you want to learn and I will work with you to um, get better at drawing and we may even get into some painting and yeah, maybe. coloring oh you're gonna help you're gonna help teach the class maybe <laughs> all right so we have I have limited room for students so um contact me and we can set something up and get you in the class yeah all right so i'm gonna add um i'm gonna do this color here 
The sun is um, going down, so I need the sun. Oh, uh, okay. I'm going to need a darker brown as well. Which darker brown did you use? This one. That one? I don't have that one over here. It must be mine. Oh, wait, I have this one here. I'm going to do under the belly a little bit darker. I think this is my best um, first um, pencil drawing. Yeah, I know you were a little hesitant, so Kayla didn't really want to do the drawing in pencil. Um, I think because he probably feels like it's more work or he's not used to sketching. But the reason I decided that we were going to try this, I know it makes the videos a little bit longer and um, not everybody has the time or the attention span, but I wanna again say that I think it's a good idea that everybody understands how long drawings can take. I don't want everybody to think that uh, because of all these time-lapse videos on YouTube and on the internet that artists make drawings so quickly <laughs> because this is a quick drawing for me. This is, you know, I'm just sketching things out for you guys. Um, but in real life, when I do artwork for comics or album covers or um, whatever I'm working on, I spend a lot of time figuring things out, making mistakes, um, lots and lots and lots of sketches. So I never work like right from a marker to a finished drawing. That would never happen for me. I'm always trying to fix things. Even if I do the artwork on the computer, I, <clears throat> I do sketches. I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow into it as well. I'm making a cloud, but you can't really see it. No. Can you? Um, oh, I see, yeah, okay. I'm gonna add some green for my hills here. If anybody out there has any requests, let us know what you would like to see us draw, and we will draw it. Absolutely, we lo we love requests because we know that people are watching, and that that's something that interests you. I'm gonna add some yellow to my hills over here. I'm gonna blend this green in with it. Add some yellow into this bush here. Do you like this green? That could be like your shadow green. Yes, yeah, that blue green is a very good green for shadows. I'm going to use that under my trees as well because the trees would be creating shadows. Oh man, I bend my table. Oh, that's okay. I do it all the time. Because we're working so fast and we're not taking complete care of our drawing. So in the, oh, I got a little bit of grass over here too. But my mountains, I'm going to do like a blue and a purple because they're far away. But I am going to blend some yellow in with them just a little bit. Because the sun is shining. It's a little colder up in the mountains. Have you ever been up in a mountain? I don't think you have, have you? Maybe in a goat when it's Christmas time. <laughs> Again. Yeah, maybe. We could get over this pandemic someday. Yeah. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Be able to leave our house again and go camping and hiking. We can go camping. Maybe see a real bear. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, that looks nice. All right, so I'm going to add something. What are you going to add? I'm going to put a yellow my son here. Nice bright, the bright sunny day. The shadow of the bear. Oh, good idea. I'm gonna add some blue to my sky as well. 
You know what color you get when you mix blue and yellow? Uh, purple. No. Brown. No, now you're guessing. Green. When you mix blue and yellow, you get green. To get purple, you mix red and blue. Is this your purple? Add a little purple to my mountains. But I know you know that stuff. You're just forgetting. We've talked about this many times. Add a little yellow to my sun, or orange to my sun. Okay. Remember in the crayon book when the two crayons are fighting over who the real color of the sun is? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good book. Two books, actually. All right, I'm going to add my shadows right underneath my bear. Yeah, I like that green. Pop off, pop off the page a bit more when we do that. I'm going to add some shadows under the trees. This is what crayons, so. Yeah, that's okay. We share our crayons. Is there another green, like a forest green? Here we go. Use this one. Or is that the same one? I thought we had a darker green. Oh, this one right here. I'm going to add this green in here. Just to give it some variety, because grass isn't all one color. And also this bush, I'm going to darken up because it's in the foreground here. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Can you I give me a red for my berries? Or actually, make them uh, make them blue. Maybe blueberries? Yeah, they'll be blueberries. Ooh. Bear's getting ready to eat some blueberries. He sees some right now. He does. All right. Are you all done? Yep. If you want to like just make it look a little bit more like grass, you could add some lines. So obviously grass isn't smooth. No. Oops, like that. And there we go. There are our bears. Great job. <laughs> I love drawing with you. And I hope everybody out there had fun drawing with us. Uh, make sure to click the like button. Very important. We appreciate it. Uh, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And uh, we will be drawing with you again real soon. All right. Peace, love, and art.